This is Joel Zappatini, producer of NYCTVLive.com. Today, we are going to talk about a world sports legend, definitely not to be overlooked. The big question is, which is the sport and who was the tremendous athlete? As for those of you who knew or knew of him, the answer is somewhat simple. Before I reveal his name, let me show you and tell you something about him. His greatness and lifetime achievements were enormous. A heavenly soul of a human being for sure. He made everyone who knew him laugh in almost every sentence he formulated. A true leader and believer of consistency in everything he ever did and then some. We're talking about the great American table tennis legend, George Bradwaite known by many as the chief. I knew this super of a man for over 50 years and never had a minute with him which I did not enjoy to the max. He always had something to say which was unique to him. Every meeting with him was a life experience. And now, let's go to the video. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like you to start coming over to the uh, we are going to start the ceremony very soon. Please start you know, walking over to the field. Thank you. Many years ago in my younger days, I was an amateur table tennis player. Not very good, but very enthusiastic. And I had the good fortune to be a member of the United Nations Table Tennis Club during the reign of King George. We didn't call him King, we called him the Chief. There were other excellent players in the club, some members, some visitors, including former national champions of Guyana and Caribbean champions. But George was the boss, or as the Italians say, il capo di tutti i capi, the boss of all bosses. After work in the afternoons, the amateurs, we would go up to the table tennis club which was on the roof of the United Nations building, and we'd hit for an hour or two. The bosses, they would come later, around 8 p.m., and some of us would hang around to watch them for a while to see how champions play table tennis. And then we would leave, and they would continue practicing until 11 p.m., midnight, or later. But once in a while, before the other bosses arrived, George would hit with me for a few minutes. Nothing fancy, just keeping the rally going, giving me a few tips and teaching me to be consistent. He was a big believer in consistency, not flashiness. And it was that generosity of spirit and with his time and talent that I remember George for. This was a world-rated player who for 27 straight years had won at least 
won U.S. title. A man who had played for presidents and prime ministers, including Chairman Mao Zedong of China and President Richard Nixon of the United States during the so-called ping-pong diplomacy that led to the recognition of the People's Republic of China by the United States. George was an outstanding table tennis player. But we're also honoring his memory today because he was an outstanding human being. And so it's most fitting that a park is being named after him on Roosevelt Island, where he lived and where he founded a table tennis club to teach the game to a new generation of young people. I think that's the lesson that George would want us to learn from his life. Be good at what you do. But above all, be a good person. Be generous in sharing your talent so that you too can make a difference and your spirit and example can continue to inspire others long after you've gone, just as the Chief's example continues to inspire us today. Well done, Chief.